Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Caring in London. Today, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic, visa. I've been living here for five years, so I can apply for my indefinite leave to remain visa, which also called settlement visa. After you've been living in UK for five years, whether you have a family visa or work visa, you can apply for this settlement visa. You can live here and work here and you can stay as long as you want. And also you can leave the country as long as you want. I'm gonna share with you how I did it. There are seven steps you need to prepare. So I'm gonna share all of these seven steps and what you need to do. I hope you find this video useful and I hope after you watch this video you know how to do it. Hopefully you can save some time because I just spend lots of time messing about. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this video to help people who are in the same situation with me after five years and you can do it. Okay, now let's talk about it. The number one, the first thing you need to do is you need to check when you can apply for this visa. So basically, most of people, I would say, <clears throat> we could be on the five years route, which means you've been living here for five years, you can apply for it. But make sure you check your visa, because if you're on tier one visa, let's say entrepreneur visa, it could be two or three years. Or if you're on global talent visa, that's three years. So you don't need to wait for five years to do it. And the earliest you can apply is 28 days before you meet the requirement, the time you spend in the UK. So make sure you check the timeline and uh, don't wait until your current visa runs out because if your current visa runs out, you have to renew that first. Okay, don't forget to check it. That's the first step. Check your visa and see when you can apply for your visa. Okay, number two, second step, how much it costs. Talking about costs, you can find all of this information on the official government website, gov.uk. For settlement visa, the cost is £2,885. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is a lot of money. Make sure you have enough money in your bank account before you apply for the visa. Oh, one more thing, that's only if you use the standard service uh, and that's 2885 and you get a decision within six months. I'm still waiting for my uh, decision. Um, one of my friends just did hers and she told me it took her almost four months to get her passport back. So um, just bear in mind, it might take quite a long time. Well, you can use a priority service. So for the first one, it's 500 pounds if you just use a priority service. Um, and you get decision within five working days, five working days, and that's 500 pounds extra. And if you need it really, really urgently, you can get a decision in two working days. That means you have to pay more and that's super priority service. It's gonna cost you 1,000 pounds. I didn't pay for that because I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I already paid 2,885 pounds for my visa and another 500 or grand more for a priority pass. That's ridiculous. I don't know why they can charge that. Yeah, so just bear in mind the time, uh, how long it's gonna taste and how much it's gonna cost you. Okay, step number three, start collecting documents. So if you are on family visa, you need to prove your income and you also need to prove um, you and your partner live together and your relationship is genuine, not a fake marriage. So you need to start collecting all the documents. Um, for example, the salary, you and your partner need to have a combined salary for at least 18,600 for one year. So make sure you start collecting documents if you work 
and you need to collect the documents for yourself and your partner is going to do the same. And that's the family visa. And you need to prove your relationship. If you have a marriage certificate or any children, children's birth certificate, uh, or you have any photos, you go on holidays together, and to prove you live together, uh, one thing could be useful is all the utility bills. Um, start collecting this. It's, it might take a bit of time because if you're like me, I don't save any electricity, I don't save any utility bills. So you need to start, you know, collecting all of the utility bills. So this is something it might take a bit of a time to do. Um, talking about the combined salaries, your salary and your partner's salary together, 18,600. Um, at least this is a current policy. Um, I think later this year, some they're gonna change the minimum salary to 29,000. And some point next year, 2025, and the minimum salary would be 38,700 pounds. So currently I think it's easier because it's still 18,600. It's still 18,600. That's for family visa. For work visa, you obviously need to show everything. Like um, your salary is 25,600 per year. You need to prove your income. Um, and after April 2024, the government is also going to change their policy. I think it's going to be more difficult to get a work visa because they require the minimum salary. It's a 38,700. 38, yes, so, but it wouldn't affect your current visa. If you're already on a family visa or work visa, these new policies wouldn't affect this. Anyway, so if you've been here for five years, just do it now. And next step, we'll talk about income. What counts income? Obviously, your pay slips. So you go to work, you get a salary. So check your P60 or pay slips. And non-work uh, income. If you have a house, you rent your house out, your rental could also count your income or cash in the bank or any other investment. You need six months of pay slips. So that's what I'm saying. You need to start collecting your documents because it might take a bit of time. Make sure you speak to your company and speak to the accountant. Uh, ask for help if you need some help. Uh, if you need to get any documents from your company. Um, we'll need a letter from your employer, dated and unheaded paper. Make sure you get all of these documents from your accountant. Make sure you start earlier because collecting documents could take a bit of a time. Step number four, you need to take life in UK test. Uh, and again, go to the government official website, gov.uk. Just search life in UK test. You'll find all the information you need. And you can create account and just book appointments. The cost for this test is 50 pounds. There is only one thing I want to quickly mention is how to prepare this test because um, it's not easy and I want to share with you how I quickly pass it. Here is the website. I use this free website. Just basically go through um, all the exams. Uh, you can check exams. There are 17 exams on this free website. Make sure you go through all of them and you know all of the answers. The text is only in, you know, multiple choices. There's no writing or reading. You need to answer 24 questions in 45 minutes and the past score is 75%, which you get 18 out of 24, correct? Yeah, so make sure you go to the website here and start practicing. Um, obviously, if you have time, there are lots of books you can read and I'm sure it's, it's very, very interesting to know the British history and the arts and the laws and everything like this. But if you're like me, you don't have time, you have work, family, kids, you don't have much time, then do the quickest way. <laughs> so this is how I did it. 
and I've done a video explaining details how I passed this exam and here is a link. Yes, so if you have time, uh, read the books and study the materials. If you don't have time, just go to the website. This is free website and practice, practice and practice. I'm sure you can pass it. Just one thing quickly, make sure you know all the answers. Um, because when you go to the exam, you will you will probably know there's there are one or two or maybe even three new questions you've never seen in the past exams you practice. So um, you have to guess. <laughs> I there were two questions when I did my life in UK test. And there were two questions and I didn't know, and I just got to guess it, and I got one wrong and one uh, correct. Step number five. Um, you need you need to do a language test. If you're on family visa, and you definitely need to do this um, language um, test, uh, unless you're from English speaking countries like US, Canada, and New Zealand and Australia. These countries, you can find the list on the government website as well. You're from these countries, you don't need to do the language test. Or if you have a degree and taught in English, you don't need to do it. Or if you have a qualification uh, from UK universities or colleges, you don't need to do that. But if you are like me, I'm from China, I need to do it. If you are on work visa, um, you don't need to do it either. So make sure you check this if you need to do the language test and make sure you book your appointment and get it done. The cost is £150. Again, you find all the information there are four um, language text yeah, providers here. You can go to any of them, book appointment and get it done. I've done a video for this language text. Last video is about this language text. Here's the link. You can check it out if you need any help. Step number six, do the application. This is a very crucial part. Again, go to government's website, gov.uk and start your journey there. <laughs> you need to do the online application. Make sure you have all the documents and passport and everything you need. Your documents ready and start your application. There is only, I think that's quite straightforward because um, if you apply for a settlement visa, which means you've done at least two visas before, it's pretty much straightforward, like you did, like how you did the past visas. Um, just all the, your personal information and you and your partner and any children and ask you about work and all of this. There is only one thing uh, I like to uh, share with you. There are two questions um, they ask. The number one is why you and your partner cannot live outside of the UK. You need to write um, something in 500 characters. Um, for me, um, I just I, I just use ChatGTP um, and give ChatGTP my basic personal information. Ask the ChatGTP to write something for me. It was really really good. So make sure you use it. And um, yeah. And the second question is: Do you have any other reasons for you to want to stay in UK? I think that's pretty much like the first question, but this one, they ask you to write something in three thousand characters. So for me, that's quite difficult. It's quite a lot of words. And again, I use the chat GTP. So that's my little advice. If you don't know how to answer these school questions, ask chat GTP. <laughs> we finally come to number seven. This is the last step. After you finish your application online, if there is anything you're not too sure, you can always save um, the information, do it later. And when you finish everything and you pay uh, £2,885, and that's all ready, you come to the final step. The final step is to collect your biometric information. Basically, you need to go somewhere, they need to collect your fingerprints and take a photo. This is the final step. And guess what? It's quite annoying because you need to pay again. And you need to go to the website and after you've done your application, it's going to take you to another website. It's called UK VCAS. It's another service provider on behalf of UK visa and immigration. 
and you basically need to book appointment and go somewhere and they need to collect your biometric information and uh, like I said it's very annoying you need to pay again um, I think the basic service is only something about 85 or 89 quid but it's so difficult to get appointments you know you want and uh, it, it was a nightmare when I did it and they got different options VIP service and the different timings I got to choose uh, like a uh, time slot is 6 to 8 p.m. in the evening because it was 139 quid it was cheaper if I go for afternoon option 2 to 4 in the afternoon and that will be 239 quid how ridiculous is that I just think the whole visa application process is always cost me <laughs> I need to do this test of 50 quid language tax 150 quid application 2885 quid and that's if I use standard service if I use the faster service and it's another um, 1000 pound because if you apply for if you are on family visa I can't use the priority um, service the 500 one I have to go for 1000 one and I'm not paying for that and the final step again is it cost me 139 quid Oof. yes so make sure you prepare and get everything ready remember these seven steps and let me know if you have any questions and i hope everything goes well with you if you um, are ready to apply for this application and hope you find this video useful i'll see you next time bye